Hi, welcome back to this channel. If you are curious to know about stages of HIV infection, just watch this video till the end, you will get all the information about the stages of HIV infection. There are three stages of HIV infection. Acute HIV infection, chronic HIV infection, and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, popularly known as AIDS. Let's learn about HIV infection and how it progresses in the human body. Without treatment, HIV infection advances in stages, getting worse over time. HIV gradually destroys the immune system and eventually causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. There is no cure for HIV, but treatment with HIV medicines, called antiretroviral therapy or ART, can slow or prevent HIV from advancing from one stage to the next. One of the main goals of antiretroviral therapy, or ART, is to reduce a person's viral load to an undetectable level. An undetectable viral load means that the level of HIV in the blood is too low to be detected by a viral load test. People with HIV who maintain an undetectable viral load have effectively no risk of transmitting HIV to their HIV-negative partner through sex. Acute HIV infection is the earliest stage of HIV infection, and it generally develops within two to four weeks after infection with HIV. During this time, some people have flu-like symptoms, such as fever, headache, and rash. In the acute stage of infection, HIV multiplies rapidly and spreads throughout the body. The virus attacks and destroys the infection-fighting CD4 cells of the immune system. Chronic HIV infection. The second stage of HIV infection is chronic HIV infection, also called asymptomatic HIV infection. During this stage, HIV continues to multiply in the body but at very low levels. People with chronic HIV infection may not have any HIV-related symptoms. Without antiretroviral therapy, chronic HIV infection usually advances to AIDS in 10 years or longer, though in some people it may advance faster. People who are taking antiretroviral therapy may be in this stage for several decades. While it is still possible to transmit HIV to others during this stage, people who take antiretroviral therapy exactly as prescribed and maintain an undetectable viral load have effectively no risk of transmitting HIV to an HIV-negative partner through sex. AIDS is the final, most severe stage of HIV infection. Because HIV has severely damaged the immune system, the body cannot fight off opportunistic infections. Opportunistic infections are infections and infection-related cancers that occur more frequently or are more severe in people with weakened immune systems than in people with healthy immune systems. People with HIV are diagnosed with AIDS if they have a CD4 count of less than 200 cells per mm3 or if they have certain opportunistic infections. Once a person is diagnosed with AIDS, they can have a high viral load and are able to transmit HIV to others very easily. Without treatment, people with AIDS typically survive about three years. If you want to know more about general health, sexual health, HIV, AIDS, and related diseases, make sure to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get all the upcoming video notifications.